Welcome back to News Channel 9 at 6. About 20% of veterans of the Iraq and Afghanistan wars suffer from PTSD. For Vietnam veterans, it's 30%. Well, tonight in The Price of Freedom, Josh Rowe has the story of one man working to help those people. Josh. Kim and Calvin, there are several things that can be done to help people suffering from PTSD. One thing that has proven to be helpful is matching those people with service dogs. Neil Graylinger has been on this bike almost every day since mid-July. I'm following a trans-American route across the United States on a bicycle from Portland, Oregon, and I'm going to end up in Charleston, South Carolina. He's riding to raise awareness and money for an organization called Soldier's Best Friend. The group provides service dogs for veterans with PTSD. What we really like about Soldier's Best Friend is they um, rescue dogs from shelters and they train them and then make them available to the vets. And what's exciting about that is that they're actually saving two lives when they do that. Neil has traveled about 3,400 miles so far, about 1,000 to go. Neil spent the night last night in Chattanooga. A fellow rider put him up for the night. Not bad considering the places he has slept along the way, including an outhouse in Montana and a bar in Colorado. He says it's all worth it. It costs about $2,000 to $2,500 to completely train a dog. It's a six-month to nine-month uh, uh, length of time to do it. and. Um, so it's a very worthy organization that I'd love people to donate to. And if you want to learn more about Soldier's Best Friend, we have a link to more information in this story on our website, newschannel9.com.